This short film showcases the outstanding practices of a school in Sikkim, providing a valuable glimpse into the innovative approaches used to enhance the quality of education and promote student success. These excellent initiatives are under the purview of the Education Department, Government of Sikkim with the support of Samagra Shiksha, Ministry of Education, Government of India providing valuable insights into the effective implementation of education policies and best practices. The department plays a crucial role in providing guidance and support to schools, educators and students, facilitating the adoption of innovative approaches to enhance the quality of education and promote student success. The best practices of the school in Sikkim demonstrate a holistic approach to education that prioritizes student success, teacher professional development, community engagement, and technology integration. These practices provide an excellent example for other schools and educators to follow in their pursuit of improving education outcomes. The success of the school in Sikkim is a testament to the department's commitment to improving education outcomes in the region. Modern Senior Secondary School, Gangtok District Modern Senior Secondary School was established in 1964 in Tathante area. Presently, the school accommodates a total of 1,093 students and employs 95 teaching and non-teaching staff members. Mrs. Mala Zigdal Dorji is the principal of the school. The school is located 2.3 kilometers away from Gangtok, the capital city of Sikkim. We encourage our students not to rely too much on rote memorization, which will not allow them to develop their thinking skill, creative and scientific skills. Uh, we uh, take them for field trips and a lot of role plays or sharing in the class happens in this uh, kinesthetic way of teaching and learning. Another innovative practices that is which, uh, which is working very good in the school is the uh, professional learning community of the teachers. They meet uh, teachers of different subjects. They meet at least once a month, strategize for uh, gap finding, Another good thing that we have done in the school is through uh, Alumni Association, we have done a lot of infrastructure development work. Last five years ago also, we had organized one a show in Gantok by which we could um, raise a fund of about six lakhs with which we could do beautification work of LKG, UKG classes and uh, repair works. And this year also on 26th March, we organized a similar kind of so show. With that money, now this year we are going to introduce a new band in the school. I had the opportunity to undergo the Vidya Pravesh training program and I must say it was an incredibly rewarding experience. The program helped me develop new and effective teaching methods that have proved highly beneficial to my students. The worksheet module that was shared with us was not only informative but also highly engaging. My students thoroughly enjoy working on these worksheets and especially love experimenting with different colors and designs. The positive feedback we receive from parents is overwhelming. They have noticed that their children return home from school much happier and more relaxed than before. They are eager to attend school and do not want to miss out on all the fun and educational activities that are now a part of their curriculum. Overall, the Vidya Pravesh program has helped me become a more effective and confident teacher and I am grateful for the opportunity to have undergone this training. At this school, the teachers believe in involving students in the learning process, which helps them learn better. They use low-cost teaching materials and smart classes to make the process of learning easier and more engaging. These methods help students develop various skills in a playful and interactive manner. The teachers at this school have a unique approach to teaching and learning that involves the active participation of students. They believe that by involving students directly in the learning process, they can put lessons to individual needs and learning styles. This makes it easier for students to grasp complex concepts and develop new skills. Through these methods, children are encouraged to explore and learn in a playful and interactive manner. One innovative technique that is used at this school is the Ganit Mala approach to teaching mathematics. This method involves using beads or other objects to make math lessons more practical and enjoyable for students. By engaging students in hands-on activities, they are able to better understand and visualize mathematical concepts. This approach has been proven to be effective in making math learning easier and more effective for students.
how to find HCF and LCF of two different numbers. So I'll call them, uh, any two students I'll call them and I'll uh, tell them to think two numbers. Uh, if I if I'm a student and if I choose one number that is four, so I'll tell, uh, ask student what are the factors of four. Uh, he or she will say that one is factor of four, two is factor of four and four itself is a factor of four because uh, factor of any number is one in itself. So I'll ask him to choose another number. If suppose he will say six, then again I'll ask him to find the factor of six. He will say one is a factor of six, two is a factor of six, three is a factor of six and six itself is a factor of six. Then I'll ask them in which container you have uh, kept two marbles. He will say in one container and two. Then I'll ask which is the highest common factor among these two numbers. So obviously he will say two. So I'll tell him to pick both the marble from the cup and I'll say that two is the highest common factor of chosen number. In this way, he will be able to know the HCF and LCM of any two given numbers.